Welcome, beloved, to the Prophetic Oasis. I'm Linda Carroll from the Big Island, and Karen Welsh and I offer our hospitality at the Oasis. It's a spiritual place. It's a place for you to come to the shady spot, the green place in between your dry times. It's your refreshment. It's supernatural. We desire to speak life and to offer you keys to the kingdom to reveal secrets and mysteries and truth from God's word that can propel you into your future, your destiny, your portions. And we welcome all to come for God is almighty and so great. He is the God of army angels, angel armies. He is the God who created all things. And if you are his, if you belong to him, he calls you his own. And there is good news for you. There are good plans for you, beloved. And today at the Oasis, as we welcome you to settle in for this time of intimacy, of refreshment, of getting to know the Savior, the Beloved, the Three-in-One, our precious Holy Spirit, to come alive, Beloved, to come alive, to be rested for the world once we step back out, that we through worship and through praising and magnifying him, that peace will reign in our spirits. Beloved, you need your peace, your God peace, to war the battles, to step out into the activity. So we encourage you to take time to pause and also to go to the soaking sessions playlist and at a time when you're trying to get your peace that you put the whole playlist on or you pick your favorite soaking session to just immerse yourself in the love of God, the love of God that is needed, beloved. It is part of your battle gear, of your covering, of your garment to be successful out in the world, beloved. And we're so thankful that we can equip you, that we can speak life, that we can speak divine truth, prophetic words, prophetic truth, beloved, from the Lord your God that will go off in your spirit as true and as he comes in with that suddenly to shift your situation when you feel like a sinking ship, beloved. He is our rescue. And so, beloved, today there is divine intervention at the Oasis. Beloved, in July, this is a special day, 7-7-2020, Beloved, we're sharing about divine intervention. And it is part of our war cry. Whew. For divine intervention means a victory over your situation, beloved. And at the oasis where there's living water, there's spring water that's bubbling up under the ground. It's like good tidings and it's like glad tidings. It's relationship over religion. It is a divine encounter. It is filled with life. Whew, thank you, Lord. Just like the two-edged sword, the word of God, this word that I'm breathing over you, releasing over you with anointing for it to prosper your soul. Beloved, it's alive and active. And just as every word that you speak, beloved, has power 
and has life to build up or to tear down, bring blessing or cursing, bring redemption or to bring rejection and criticism. Beloved, it should not be that there is bitter and sweet water that flows from the same fountain, the same mouth. Let us be intentional as we're growing in our walk, our spiritual maturity, beloved, as we fall deeper and deeper in love and know that he is our friend who sticks closer than a brother than any relationship, beloved. As he is almighty that we fall in love, our heart's cry is to love him and to speak life, to grow. Whew. We're here at the oasis to find that perfect peace, beloved, to keep our eyes fixed on him. Who The oasis is that sheltering place in the storm. Beloved, we have a friend in Jesus. Whew. And we submit it all to you, Jesus. We put it all in your hands, Lord. Who be with me. Be with me. Be with me at this oasis time. Father God, Daddy God, be with us. Strengthen us. Who thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's such redemption at the oasis. Divine intervention. Whew. As we stay close in our relationship, as we get portions of wisdom. But with wisdom, we want to get understanding and knowledge. Beloved, it is so exciting to search definitions and to search for scriptures and the meaning of words. And it is a gift from the Lord that he activates and he spurs us on like iron sharpens iron, that we spur one another, that we gather intentionally with close friends as we are maturing and seeking and knocking and asking. So beloved, settle in. He's got you covered. He's got you covered. Call upon him at the oasis. He is the name above all names. And for his divine intervention, we place ourselves as we come out of the barrenness. We come out of the desert. We come out of the busyness, whew, the distractions. And we come to settle in where the water's good, the water's cool, the water's alive. It's not stinky. It is not sulfur water. It is not dirty water. Beloved, it's spring water, artesian water, flowing water. Whew. The flowing water. We want flowing water. We want to be a spring for others, a wellspring of fruits and blessings and encouragement and strength and favor. So we build you up at the oasis. We teach you how to use your gifts and how to activate and release your anointings and truth and blessings, not cursings, blessings. We bless you, beloved, with life and godliness. So Lord, this divine intervention that is available is our war cry. We cry out, help, help us today, Lord. That desert was hot. The extreme temperatures, the mugginess, the humidity, Lord, we're crying out in the intensity of the battle. You may be in several small skirmishes at one time. There may be many areas that you're needing to fight for. 
your destiny right now. I'm speaking personally. Whew. And we can wage that warfare in prayer, in intercession, in searching out a promise that we declare over our situation. And beloved, I thank you, Lord, that who our God, as we call out help, as we call out Jesus, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, thank you, Lord, that we call out to our Savior, our helper. We receive victory. We receive instruction. We can fight the battle on our knees. We can fight the battle in worship. We can wear a garment of praise. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you in the process through the difficulties. You keep working, Lord, don't you? You keep working, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you choose us for these assignments that are not easy. You choose us for the harvest. You choose us. You placed us in certain families and spheres of influence at workplaces, at school, places where we're around others in our little town or community, our tribal group. Lord God, we thank you. Those that were connected as blood relatives, Lord God, whew, we can come to you for intervention, for answers, whew, and you will fight our battles. And you give us victory in the intervention for suddenly you show up, God. You show up. Whew, you answer. You follow the declaration of promises and you give answers, you give instructions, you give shelter in the storm through the oasis. You are the shelter, you are the hiding place. In Psalm 32, you are my hiding place. You are that shelter in the time of storm. Who, Lord, help be our hiding place. Give us the strengths for the baby isn't born in a day. The baby takes a gestation period of nine months, beloved, of difficulties, of nausea, or getting used to all these changes. And if God's having you birth, if you've been having dreams about giving birth, having a baby, a new ministry, a new project, a kingdom project, a new business, a new way of doing things, a new way of totally changing the order of even your daily schedule, of how you homeschool, of how you do life. Beloved, it's not easy to give birth to something new, but if it's divine, there is a divine intervention that helps you come to full term, full term, and a rejoicing, a celebrating of your new baby, of that new business, that new platform that touches others, that brings an inspiration of creativity. Beloved, God is so good to give his word, just as this word that he had me to write, beloved. Keep your notebooks, your journal, a special book or paper, a special pen handy so that God can download. He dwells in our praise. Who, beloved, he's reminding you today that his love is deep. Who, his love is strong. Who, Lean into my strength, for I shall deliver you from evil. Woo, that's the intervention. That's where the victory comes, because our mighty God has the strength. He's not weak. He's not a man that he should boast. Woo, he is strong. Who come into that secret place, snuggle up, and get closer. Woo. 
fetal position even, beloved. Just come close. Woo! Because he desires to cover us Woo! with his strength, with his presence. His presence changes everything. Thank you, Lord. We submit it all to you. His mercy was new for you this morning, beloved. His goodness and his mercy was refreshed for you this morning. Whew. God wants you to know that he is your rock. He is your rock. Solid, solid foundation. Solid that you can lean on, that you can take a stand on. What is your platform, beloved? What is your foundation? Let's ask God, Lord God, be our firm foundation that can't be rocked and shaken. Beloved, it can't come loose when there's a flood of difficulties. Oh, Lord, we declare that you are a rock. You are our rock. You are for us. And we choose to lean on your intervention, Lord God. Yes, that means we have to trust him. Trust me and look to me. Who? And look for me. Look, see, seek. The word see is in seek. We're seeking you. We're looking for you, God. We're searching you out in your word in our quiet time. Who? our daily quiet time. Whew, thank you, Lord. You're so good. He said, I am yours and you are mine. Let's get that relationship understood. I am yours and you are mine, says the Lord. Whew, thank you, Lord. And my plans for you are good. I'm reminding you one more time. My plans for you are good. You have divine intervention and divine realignment. When you come to the oasis, often to sit down and to listen to these words that are alive, that will bring you life, that will bring you peace in a difficult time because they're his words, they're prophetic words, they're words of truth, secrets, nuggets. They release wonders and signs. And Karen and I are so delighted by some of the feedback and the praise reports and the healing and the improvements. And as you lay hands upon the sick, as you agree as touching anything according to his will, as you apply those healing cloths and those words spoken over you that you will have one good report after another and we are so delighted those of you that are sharing about healings and good reports and improvements and miracles and water that's flowing from your eyes like living water that's not emotion or tears but a refreshing and a renewal like a fountain of living water and different miracles that are so personal and intimate we thank you for sharing and for encouraging us because the word says signs and wonders shall follow those who believe those who release god's anointing the dunamis power and the beautiful words that bring life and hope that intervention that war cry for the victory and beloved we are agreeing for you and those of you who have asked for a healing cloth a cloth that's been anointed. There's no power in the cloth. The power is in Jesus and the anointing from the great physician where he said, greater works shall you do. And as we agree and touch and release anointing, just as when the disciples that carried God's miraculous anointing, their shadow 
just a piece of their cloth, their clothing, their garment, saturated in his anointing, would bring about a suddenly, a healing, a miracle, a touch. Beloved, thank you so much. But listen to this, beloved. My love is deep and my plans are good for you. My daughter, my son, to the one listening, it's a good plan, good plan. He wants us to breathe in his presence. Right here at the oasis, where you take time to just be still and to know, his presence brings life. Breathe in my presence. Oh, thank you, Lord. You're so good. You're better than the air that we breathe. Take some deep breaths, deep breaths of divine air. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whew. It's called heavenly oxygen. It is provided for each of you. When people panic, they need to breathe. Sometimes you hear of people hyperventilating. The Lord doesn't want you to panic. No matter what you're facing, here at the Oasis, at the secret place, at your place with Him, He provides divine protection, divine intervention. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Today and every day, he has a refreshment of understanding of goodness. He's working for you, beloved. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Each breath is a gift from your loving God, the maker of heaven and earth. Whew. So we give you honor. We give honor to those who are carrying your presence, your truth, your dunamis, your love, your encouragement, those who are building up the body, come often to the oasis. Come to the oasis to be built up, to be comforted that yes, you are loved. Yes, there is intervention. Yes, there is victory. Yes, he answers the war cry. There's victory over every challenge. Over bitterness, he brings sweet water. Over unforgiveness, he brings health and nourishment. Whew. He is our refuge. Whew. He is our solid rock. Thank you for every gift. Let's thank him out loud. Let's learn to voice out loud that we are thankful, that every breath is a gift that we're thankful for. Our loving God, the maker of heaven and earth, and we rejoice and we magnify him. Beloved, seek him while he may be found. Look for him while you can still find him so that you're not cluttered with busyness and you can't see or hear him, that you're not in turbulence in the storm where you panic. They say that a person who goes underwater, whether the helicopter flips over, the vessel is filled with water, that those who panic will drown within a few seconds. Beloved, we're not going under. We're not drowning, beloved. We know that we have intervention, a mighty God who is for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't be the one that panics. Be the one who knows that God is there, that if we'll be still, that if we'll call out for help, that we have victory. We are warriors with cutting edge and he comes like a whirlwind. 
he has all power. Whew. Be fully established in what he's got for you, beloved. Thank you, Lord. Let's seek him and his ways. Let's devour the word. Let's get close. Let's listen. Let's have our journal. Let's let him reveal and bring to life every scripture that we are meditating upon. Thank you, Lord. He said, seek me while there's time. He wants us to harvest, for it is harvest time. Whew. Beloved, it's harvest time. It's harvest time. The harvest is overtaking the plowman before you can even seed and water and nurture, fertilize, beloved. It's already harvest time. Beloved, there's a season of harvest time. There's times and seasons to bring the harvest into the kingdom and celebrate the harvest for all eternity. Thank you, Lord. Let's bring it in. Let's work together now and then let us celebrate together later. Whew, thank you, Lord. Be my hands extended. Be my voice of one crying in the wilderness of the marketplace. Who? John the Baptist, he was crying in the wilderness out where all the different people groups were. It's a lifestyle marketplace. Wherever God places you, remember it's harvest season. It's harvest time. Spread the good news, spread good deeds, good tidings, joy, glad tidings. Testify of the goodness of God. Heal the broken ones. Woo, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's accelerating. And if God says it's harvest time, then let's harvest. Let's be obedient. Let's look for opportunities. If it's harvest in the marketplace, that means where you shop, where you park your car where you're in the mainstream, where you're shopping, reviewing, even online, you can be kind, you can plant seeds. Who be my ears to hear with compassion. Bind up the brokenness, bind up the hurting, bring life to the suffering, share hope with those around you, bring joy from the storehouse, ask for it. Yes, Lord, more joy, more joy, and distribute it like blowing bubbles. Woo, thank you, Lord. Joy like blowing bubbles. Karen and I are releasing joy to you during these episodes, just like blowing bubbles. We're releasing over you joy and beautiful gifts that are in the divine storehouse and we are releasing glad tidings good tidings rejoice for this day there is divine intervention available there is new birth there is harvest there is a celebration for eternity. It may not be easy, beloved. It may be a process like giving birth that has pains, that has you traveling to another country or another desert to be counted in a census, beloved, where you don't know anyone that's willing to give you a place to stay for the night, even if you're about to give birth. Beloved, you feel rejected like there's no hospitality. No one is receiving your idea, your songs, your book, your artwork, your poetry. No one's receiving what is your gift or your virtual assistance, beloved. It's a process and God is with you. And every step of the way, every angel, 
every shepherd that you meet along the way, every little sheep and lamb along the way deserve good news, some joy, a good word, intervention, courage, encouragement. Beloved, learn your gifts. Learn the impartation that's been spoken over you. Write out your commission. Beloved, as I think of what the Lord commissioned me to do, as I release these good words, I'm being obedient. I'm fulfilling my commission. I'm doing it virtually. Online can be your platform or in your book, in your small group, in your home as you offer hospitality, and through that you share life and light. Grieve with those who are hurting and bring comfort as you listen and as you testify with the spirit of prophecy. Stay close and look for me, listen for me to intervene. Intervene, that's an intervention. That's what you can find today at the Oasis is intervention. Look for me, expect me to intervene in your situation. An intervention is like a very difficult situation, an impossibility, a place where there might even be danger and there might be your life is dependent on God to intervene. Beloved, he wants to intervene. There is divine intervention. Lord, I thank you for bringing heaven to earth. We magnify you. Freely we release to others. Freely we release joy to those who have no hope. Lord, we grieve with those who have no hope. Lord God, I thank you so much, God for touching with wholeness and healing, for giving us gifts to carry, giving us anointing. Yes, we will watch for appointments and those who come to dip at the oasis, for those who come for a drink from the fountain, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for what you've divinely arranged. We lean in for instruction, that is our war cry for help, Lord God. Thank you that you freely give to us even now. Whew. Beloved, his presence is hovering over each of you that is listening and will listen. Whew. He delights in us. He wants us to delight that he delights in us with no ending of the good gifts. Don't miss your opportunities for the harvest. Don't miss by your busyness and preoccupation. Consider that, beloved. Tell him you don't want to miss the opportunities. They're divinely appointed and prepared for you. Help! We want help and we trust you, Lord, for that shift that turns everything around. It may not be easy. As a matter of fact, it was very difficult for many who took up the call, the war cry, to give birth to their new shift, their new position, their new dream. Beloved, we will receive together as we thank him for intervening for the intervention. Oh God, we thank you for this time the secret place time in justice and protection. You are that solid rock. We will breathe in your goodness. We will release your joy. We will look for your instructions and to have understanding. We will call upon you and we will seek out these divine appointments and assignments 
And beloved, as you're maturing, if you're the one that needs the rescue, be expectant for the one you meet that may be an angel or may be someone that's been prompted to give you courage, to give you that touch to just keep going on the last month of giving birth. Don't cut it short, beloved. Go full term with all of the negotiating, the arranging of finances and repositioning. Go full term, beloved. It seems like the weight becomes too much, beloved, but there's a divine plan and he wants the kingdom to shout, the kingdom to be an example to the world. He wants to step in with that suddenly. He wants to brag upon you. The Lord gets all the glory but the testimony of how he intervened. Expect him to intervene. A rescue, a victory, a battle won for your destiny, for your family, for their salvation. We thank you, Lord. You're so good. You will carry it well, beloved. Reach out to touch others. He freely gives to us. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help intervene for us. Spend more time in the secret place, in your quiet time, in your early morning time, at the oasis, beloved. Be expectant. Let him direct and guide us into all truth Whew. and expect him to come closer that you won't feel alone yes god we submit it all unto your hands and right now we're asking for your power to fall thank you that we're never alone that you're with us always that you have a deep love for us to succeed you want us to travel together, travel to nations. Let us release life and healing to the hurting and broken together. Whew. And he makes a way. He makes a way for you to do that. Feel his presence here at the oasis and see my glory fall. Feel the rain of my presence and delight. Yes, God, we receive that. Your presence changes everything. Jehovah, our rescue, our suddenly, our help, our instruction, our leading and guiding, our comfort, Holy Spirit. Whoo, thank you. You are so welcome here. And we delight, we delight, we love you so much. So, beloved, receive what's happened for you today, that no matter how big that mountain looked, no matter how surrounded you feel, there's been a rescue and intervention. There's a victory as we bring our war cry, help, a victory. Let us know by your comments the shift that's taken place as your expectant and let us know if you're delighting in the joy of the bubbles and the cheerfulness, the glad tidings, the good news. Beloved, you will give birth full term to the dreams and destiny of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are for you. Karen and I would love to hear your comments and for you to subscribe and share every message that you think would touch someone that's homebound or needs the special word that is alive and living and active. We love you. Come often. Run to the secret place. Run to Jesus. 
we are just here to give him glory and to be available for you to be obedient. We love you. He loves you. Do not panic. Woo. You have a victory. You have the one that intervenes for you. We bless you. From the Big Island, Aloha.